All right, guys. Uh, so you have this is a KitchenAid, any Whirlpool, older Kenmore style. Will have similar features. And the issue with this guy, you press the start, and the dryer is pretty much well, it's dead. So you press start, nothing. So I'm going to show you what to check. Uh, first thing is first, you want to also always make sure you check your breaker and you can always check your plug, make sure your outlet has the right voltage. You should, from this one to this one, you should be getting 240 volts, okay? Well, 240, 230, 238, 230, whatever, it's a range. So it just depends uh, what time it is. It will it will change from time to time. Um, see, two thirty-five. Okay, it's two twenty uh, or two forty, really. And then you want to go from this one to this, and you should get one hundred twenty. Okay, hold on. Okay, 117. Totally fine. Then you want to go back to this one. And you should get the same. Okay. There's my leg. There it is. So you want to make sure that you're getting proper voltage here before you go anywhere else so and in your case if you do not have a tester turn your breaker off all the way off and then back on some breakers will have single pull so when you first look at it you might think it's not tripped but it is so always good practice all the way off then back on all right so since our power is good here we need to see what is going on with the dryer so, the first thing you want to do is open, open the dryer and up here you have a door switch and if this door switch is bad, you need to replace it. Um, let's say it's 8 o'clock at night, you got to get your clothes done or Sunday morning, whatever. So. I'll show you how to temporarily get your dryer going and also how to replace the switch. So let's access the switch. You have two screws, those are Phillips. Now to open this cover here, a couple ways of doing it, you can grab the back of the machine, okay, and pull forward, or you can just get a putty knife, okay, you'll feel it, just like that. And that's it. Have something that can rest the back of the dryer on. And while you're there, you check, make sure your belt is good. You don't have to open the machine up too much. So we're dealing with this switch here. Now this one has three wires. So this dryer probably has a light on the inside. Yep, right there in the center. So, and this one does not have a light. So 
I'll have to get another switch for it. But this is the switch that you're going to be replacing. And you can hear this one clicking. This one is broken. So I'll have to change this switch. But I'll show you how, for the video's sake, I will be swapping it back out. But I'm going to show you how to change this switch. And also how to bypass the switch temporarily. So you will have a dryer to dry your clothes. Alright, so let's do that. Make sure the machine is unplugged, okay? Now this one is usually the light, okay? This part here is normally the light, that center. So your main, main thing right there is those two on the end. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna cut these two off. And you can leave that hanging, whatever, um, or just cut it off. But the dryer is going to be running now with the door potentially open. So if you open the door, the dryer will still run. So keep that in mind. Also, again, you can also look at these wires, okay? And these will tell you pretty much who is who, okay? Get a focus here. Okay, so if you look at... Okay, it goes in like that, okay? Sorry, like this. Okay. Like I said, these two wires, not this one, okay? So these two. Now, if you look at the colors, white and blue, those are your power wire for your switch. If you follow these down if you're not 100% sure if you look where your light switch is you see that orange that orange is going right to the light switch okay give you some more light I want you to see it see that orange Trying to see if I can touch it, but it's tight. Yeah, there it is. That orange next to the white wire. Anyways, so that's the one. And so he controls your light. So all you're going to do now is cut. Cut it off from the switch. And we're going to put a zip. We're going to put a uh, wing nut, wire nut. And I'll show you how to change it as well. So right now we can plug it back in, it doesn't matter. You want to twist the wires together, then insert your wire nut. Make sure you have a small enough wire nut. If not, it's not going to fit. If you don't have a small, you can always bend the wire, making it larger, and try again. Okay, and once you're done, okay, 
you can technically disconnect this um, because the switch probably is not going to be working because the switch is bad but it's not going to hurt but you don't want anything touching so well that's pretty good right there it's not going to touch and this is temporary guys temporary so don't keep running your machine like that especially if you have kids all right so now we're going to plug it back in all right so our switch will not work anymore but the dryer should come on so let's take a look Like something was in the blower wheel, but dryer is working. And of course, your dryer will work with the door open. In fact, if I press start right now, dryer will work. So be careful. All right. So now I'll show you how to replace the switch. 